Okay, so we are beginning our online international education fair and the webinar is about to start. I can see we have about 100 students. I want to thank you for joining us today. I hope this is going to be a useful information when you're going to be attending till the end of the webinar. You will be able to learn about the scholarships, application fee waivers, the COVID-19 updates and many more. So watch till the end and ask any question that you have. I hope it's going to be worth. Thanks. Okay. All right, that's great. Thank you very much for that lovely introduction. I would like to uh, welcome you all. Uh, thank you all for uh, joining us in this uh, session. Uh, of course, uh, you know, we are very glad to be here. Um, we're going to uh, you know, try to try and give you as much information as possible, but still going to keep this a very uh, short and concise presentation so we can have some time allotted for the question and answers. So think bigger, think Middlesex Dubai is not only a slogan that we use, but it is also a vision uh, of the university. So we, uh, Middlesex University London is our head branch and Middlesex Dubai is uh, he, the branch the branch campus here in Dubai. We have been expanding ever since our um, ever since we uh, first opened up in 2004 in Dubai. And uh, of course, uh, moving on, we have four campuses around the world, and I am going to be speaking to you about the Dubai campus. Now, now one thing to keep in mind is that we do have uh, we do have a transfer option available where a student can come into the Dubai campus and then, uh, you know, you can either do one year with us or two years with us and then move to the London branch in the final year or graduate from the Dubai branch itself. Of course, um, the Dubai branch, the degree that you get uh, from the Dubai branch is going to be coming in from our head campus in London in the UK. So you can study in Dubai and you can graduate in Dubai and the degree you get is going to be issued from London. Now, um, all of our undergraduate programs are for three years and our postgraduate programs are mostly, uh, they are uh, full-time programs for one year and we do have part-time options available for two years. I will be coming to that later. These are just a few of our awards and achievements, just a few out of many uh, to showcase um, uh, two, two of the programs as well. As you can see, the only university in the Middle East to be certified by Blackmagic Design, which is for our film program. The first and only university in the UAE to offer a a British qualifying law degree, and this basically means that you can practice in, uh, you can you can study the law program with us, the LLB Honors Law Program. You can practice uh, Commonwealth law. Go, moving on, um, this is just a little about something, uh, just uh, just something about uh, us, and uh, you know we have uh, over 3,400 students studying with us. We have over a hundred nationalities starting with us. The exposure that you get, uh, it's absolutely priceless, uh, the, um, the interaction that you have. Now, this is something I like to mention to um, high school students, you know, all of the, the, these few years, um, the, perhaps the first year of high school, uh, sorry, the, uh, the final year of high school, the first year of the university, all the way through, uh, perhaps even the first year of your job, these few years are the uh, foundation of how you are going to be, um, you know, when you when you start working and uh, when you move towards the growth of your career. So the kind of environment you study in, the kind of people you are around, um, everything affects your overall personality. And Middlesex University Dubai certainly um, definitely gives you that kind of uh, friendly atmosphere and uh, a true British uh, culture to study in. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a beautiful uh, environment. I'm sure that, uh, um, you know, there might be a lot of, um, uh, a lot of uh, students who can uh, give you, um, you know, sort of uh, uh, share their experience with you. If you, if you do want to inquire further about that, we can, uh, you can speak with uh, the study metro counselors regarding that. All right, so we do have um, 
Um, as you can see, all the facts are given. I'm not going to go too much into that. All of our students are 100% employable, and uh, you know you can do internships in your first year in undergraduate studies. You can uh, obviously our postgraduate programs are full-time programs, but both options for the postgraduate programs are um, the, the classes are after 6.30 p.m. in the evenings. I'll be coming to that later on. So business management, as you can see, we have some business programs on the left-hand side. These are our undergraduate programs. Accounting and finance is for those who want to do uh, ACCA, perhaps you get nine out of 14 exemptions. And uh, business management as well, as you can see, we have a couple of uh, specializations you can do. Now, the first year of business management, you study HR management, um, you study uh, economics and accounting as well, just a bit of both, and also marketing and of course business. By the time you're done with your first year, the the foundation that is set for you is is uh, pretty strong. And you know, if let's say that you go for an internship in your second year and uh, you are in a workplace and you know you're in that office environment, you will be able to understand all the operations going on around you. That's how the program is structured to give you a very strong foundation. Second year onwards, you can do a specialization. I won't be going much into detail. You can see, you can see the uh, other programs as well, international business, tourism management, marketing. Marketing is a, is a program for anyone who wants to become a marketing specialist. And of course, uh, the marketing program uh, has uh, modules like uh, subjects like digital marketing and uh, analytics as well, advertising as well. So um, everything is, uh, you know, more information can be given to you later on. You can you can have a look at um, the uh, basically the details that will be provided to you. Uh, you can either go to the website or you can uh, speak with your study metro counselor. All right. So information technology, as you can see, the science and technology programs, we have information tech business information systems and computer systems engineering these three programs in computer science and four programs in psychology and uh, health and education as well as law now coming to the law program the llv honors law program actually allows you to uh, practice you can practice in the uae um, there we do have um, uh, um, the basically um the court um miss gazala miss gazala would you like to take over the uh explaining more about the law programs where students can basically practice and uh you know sure. just to show you. so like yasser has mentioned so we are one of the first uh face-to-face -face, um uk llb qualifying um, law degree now once our students have graduated this is the first degree which will be eligible for them to make uh, make pathway towards qualifying practicing lawyer. So one would still need to do the bar council. If they decide to go uh, go ahead, uh, they could go ahead and do their bar in the UK. They can continue with the masters in the UK or around with us. We've got LLM. Mm -hmm. um, if they wish to practice um, law um, in the UAE, so there is a DIFC course where a lot of free lawyers would be able to practice. So that's in short. That's great. Thank you so much. Um, so go, moving on to the media programs, we have some amazing media programs, uh, BA Honors Advertising, PR and Branding. We do have creative writing and journalism for anyone who wants to go into journalism or some form of, uh, you know, copywriting or, you know, all four of these media programs can be used for going into content creation. Uh, we do have the film program, of course, we do have the digital media program. Um, all of these, basically all the programs that we offer, they do give you, um, you know, the, the programs are structured in a way to give you practical experience uh, to uh, benefit you um, when you actually move into that industry. So um, arts and design, graphic design and fashion design, these two of our programs, absolute ma masterpieces. We have... Um, uh, Basically, we, for the graphic design pro program, we have uh, graphic design labs. And for the fashion design program, we have the amazing Icon Studio, which is a fashion studio with a walking ramp and industrial equipment and uh, all kinds of uh, 
uh, basically, um, it's it's a very uh, impressive facility for anyone who wants to move into fashion uh, design. Uh, actually, I do have quite a few stories for each of our programs. Uh, unfortunately, because of the lack of time, I won't be able to actually uh, mention those stories, but I can definitely tell you about the fashion design program. So one of our fashion design uh, students actually um, you know, he won a national competition and uh, he um, designed a dress that was worn by a Hollywood celebrity. And um, of course, that was uh, for a red carpet event. Um, quite a few things that our fashion design students are actually doing at the moment, being, you know, participating in um, some professional photo shoots and things like that. A lot of things that are going on in all of our programs, in fact. Our media, pro, our media students are uh, highly involved in uh, Dubai Design District, which is, um, which is uh, basically um, a, an entire system um, here in the UAE for, uh, for anyone who is in, in the designing field. I'll come to that later on at the end. All right, so postgraduate programs. We have uh, quite a few postgraduate programs, as you can see, banking and finance. We have a lot of business related programs, HR management. This is a CIPD accredited program, digital marketing, strategic marketing. These are CIM accredited programs, which, which are the Chartered Institute of Marketing. Um, obviously, after finishing your graduation, you can apply uh, for the uh, certifications of the uh, particular program you are graduating from. The LLM program is to be done after your LLB degree, or you can do an LLM uh, program without doing an LLB degree. It all depends on what kind of, uh, basically, uh, what it is that you want to do uh, with that knowledge. <laughs> uh, MA International Relations is a fantastic program as well. Um, we obviously have the MBA program. Now, all of these programs are uh, have the uh, one-year full-time option, and uh, some of these programs do offer the part-time option, which is uh, which is also there for the MBA. Uh, full-time is one year, and part-time is two years. And uh, both for both options, the classes are in the evenings, 6:30 p.m. onwards. Which means that if you are going to be working, or you know, part-time, even if you're going to be working full-time, which is basically most of our students, the majority of our students are working professionals, and um, you know, it's very convenient for working professionals in the UAE. All right. So just a few more science and technology programs, as you can see, MSc Engineering Management and Robotics and Data Science, Psychology as well. And uh, basically, as you can see, we have the International Foundation program as well. But uh, I won't be going into that because um, that is for anyone coming in from British curriculum or American curriculum. I believe the majority of students here present are from the uh, Indian uh, state boards and CBSE state boards. So coming back to undergraduate studies, all right? So we do have um, uh, the entry requirements around 55 to 60 percent uh, for the law program. However, it is 70 percent and above. That is CBSE overall. I'm talking about 12th grade. IELTS requirement is uh, six and above. IELTS requirement uh, is needed for getting into the program, and of course our scholarships. We are offering some incredible academic excellence scholarships, which means CBSE, 70% and above, and you get a scholarship. Apart from that, I just want to let you all know that for undergraduate programs, we are offering any student coming in from India a 20% um, international study grant on the undergraduate programs. All right, any student coming in from India. And for our postgraduate programs, we are offering a 10% postgraduate study grant for all of our postgraduate programs. Um, for the human resource management and MBA program, we are offering a 20% off, yeah, basically a 20% grant. So I'm going to be moving on. Uh, I've already covered IELTS. For postgraduate studies, IELTS, uh, we need a 6.5 overall with 5.5 in each band, I believe. So. Um, student accommodation we do offer a student accommodation uh, with an additional charge all right so um we have uh, the gym and swimming pool facility here with the gym comes in with a uh, personal trainer as you can see just a few photographs there um 
looking you can have a look at the gym that's our uh, per, the personal trainer uh, coach uh, Sasha all right um, we do provide transportation obviously to and from the university just a five minute distance by the way the accommodation facility is right next to the uh, iconic model of the Emirates um, in Dubai which I'm not sure if you've heard but you know ski Dubai you should probably google that so uh, careers and employability I already covered this in the beginning but we do offer internships and part-time opportunities all year long uh, uh, you know throughout the duration of your program uh, we do have uh, recruitment days where companies come in and recruit students on the spot we do have that as well constantly our careers team is constantly in touch with uh, quite a few uh, large corp corporations in the UAE, you know, getting students opportunities all the time. So, um, you know, we are also, you know, organizing workshops and things like that, training sessions for students basically all the time, which, uh, which contributes to the development of your personal skills and your professional skills. All right, basically, you know, we invite authors of great books uh, to our university. We invite CEOs of big corporations. And, you know, last year, we, uh, sorry, last month, uh, actually two months ago, we had uh, a billionaire, um, a billionaire founder of a large corporation come into the university to talk about how he came up from nothing. And basically, I have a quite a few stories there, so I won't get into much detail. Um, these are just a few of our institutes. This one is uh, tasked with um, helping students who have startup ideas and having them, um, you know, providing, um, they, they do have contacts with investors and things like that. Anyone who wants to work on a startup, things like that. CIE, this is the Center for Innovation and Excellence. Um, just like these institutes, we have uh, we have an institute uh, for environmental awareness. We do have an institute for um, you know gender equality and things like that. So we have a lot of things that are going on in the university. Certainly not enough time to speak about all of them um, at this uh, at the moment. So just a few of our uh, activity student activities. This is the international day that is going on, and. Um, you know, we have over 100 nationalities studying with us, and this is just uh, one of the many events. So we have events uh, uh, scheduled uh, for the, you know, so United Nations has a calendar. We have uh, events for every single one of those days. Uh, basically, that means a lot of events. So a lot of social activities, lots and lots of interaction, of course. And um, uh, this is the International Day, just one of those days. Right. Uh, this is the youth festival. Just a few of our, uh, you know, showcasing what our students are doing. Uh, sports. So we do provide professional coaching and professional facilities at the university. Um, everything is inclusive, of course. Just just a few photographs of some of the tournaments and a few field trips as well. Social events, as you can see, um, a few social events happening at the campus. Just to give you an idea, we have over uh, 17 social clubs that students can be a part of like the drama club acting club dance club we have a lot of things all of these uh, things that we have the sports activities and the social events and the workshops the training sessions everything everything that we have in the university is meant to change you as a person as in impact you positively all right so um this is from two years ago. So this was our graduation ceremony. Uh, last year, it was held in uh, the 2019 graduation ceremony was held in Dubai Opera House, uh, right next to Barsh Khalifa, which is the tallest tower in the world. This is the graphic design lab, just a little, um, uh, you know, just a little peek into our facilities. Uh, so as you can see, very well equipped. Uh, our fashion design, uh, um, unfortunately, we don't have enough time to go into the a fashion design uh, studio to show you more about that. But basically you can uh, check us out on Instagram. I think that would be great if you can check us out on Instagram, Middlesex Dubai, have a look at all of our facilities and everything. And obviously you can speak to the study Metro counselors for more details. Cisco Lab, as you can see, um, you know, for computer science students and So this brings us to the end of the webinar. I hope the information that you have gained today is going to be useful for you for making an application to the university. 
if you still have any question or any query about applying to the university then you contact one of the study metro representative thank you so much again for joining this webinar have a good one mm -hmm.